What's up, Calvary Kids? Welcome to our another online service. Hey, we're gonna get started with a song by my daughter, Presley. She's gonna sing with us. Are you guys ready? I think you know this one. Here it goes. <laughs> Little one to him belong. Young, yes, dear, me, pop, yes, dear, me, pop, pop, tell me so. What's up, Calvary kids? How are you guys? Today we're gonna learn a story about Jesus, and I've got my little son Knox here to help me out. The title of today's message is Jesus Loves the Children. I know a lot of you guys have heard that song, Presley just sang, Jesus Loves All the Children. Our story today, Jesus had some followers named Disciples, and they were really, really grumpy and mean. They were all cranky because a bunch of kids came up to Jesus, and all the kids started sitting on Jesus' lap. And the disciples were like, hey, you can't do that. You can't come up to Jesus like that. And Jesus said, hold on a second. Let the little children come to me. I love the little children. Jesus liked it that the little children would just come up and sit on his lap. And he was so nice to them. In fact, it's almost like Knox coming up on my lap right now. You know what? You can always come to Jesus anytime you need. You can just pray, God, I want to come to you right now. I love you, God. And he always, always, always loves you. You can come to him anytime. And you can always trust Jesus. Watch this. I'm going to get Knox, and I'm going to throw him up in the air. Look, look how much he loves it. Ready? Yay. Yay. You see how happy he is? Because Knox knows that his daddy's always going to catch him. Knox trusts his daddy. In the same way, you can trust that Jesus is always going to catch you when you fall down. That Jesus always loves you. And you can trust him with all your life. Alright guys, so this is how the story goes. I'm reading from my special Jesus Storybook Bible. It says, The Friend of Little Children. Jesus' friends were arguing who was the most important helper in God's kingdom. They wanted to know. I am, James said. No, you're not, said Peter. I am. Nonsense, Matthew said. I'm the cleverest. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, yes, no, am too. The silliness went on and on and on, like that for some time. You see, Jesus' friends had started thinking they had to do something to make themselves special to Jesus. That if they were the cleverest or the nicest or something, Jesus would love them the best. But they had forgotten something. God had been teaching his people all through the years that no matter how clever you are or how good you are or how rich you are or how nice you are or how important you are, you are, none of these things makes any difference because God's love is a gift. And as anyone will tell you, the whole thing about a gift is it's free. All you have to do is reach out your hands and take it. So while Jesus' and his friends were arguing, some people who knew all about getting gifts, in fact, you might say they were expert gift experts, had come to see Jesus. Who were they? They were little children. See? See all the little children? Jesus' helpers tried to send them away. They were being all cranky. Jesus doesn't have time for you, they said. He's too tired. But they were wrong. Jesus always had time for children. Don't ever send them away, Jesus said. Bring the little ones to me. Now, if you'd been there, what do you think? Would you have had to line up quietly to see Jesus? Do you think Jesus would have asked you how good you'd been before he'd give you a hug? Would you have had to be on your best behavior and get dressed up and not speak until you're spoken to? Or would you have to just 
do what these children did. They ran straight up to Jesus and let him pick you up in his arms and swing you and kiss you and hug you and then sit you on his lap and listen to your stories and your chats. You see, children love Jesus and they knew they didn't need to do anything special for Jesus to love them. All they needed to do was to run into his arms. And so that's just what they did. Well, after all the laughing and games, Jesus turned to his helpers and said, No matter how big you grow, never grow up so much that you lose your child's heart full of trust in God. Be like these children. They are the most important in my kingdom. And that's our story today, you guys. Jesus loves you guys all the time. And you can always come to Jesus. And you can trust him with your whole entire life. Let me pray for you guys and then we'll be all done today. Why don't you fold your hands and bow your heads with me. Say, dear Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you that you love us. We thank you we can come to you anytime. God, we just give our heart over to you right now, and we trust you. In Jesus' name, everyone said, Amen. All right, you guys, we love you. See you next time. Bye.